Yo, what's up, YouTube? Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is September 30th, 2018. It is going to be my outing number 137 of this year. And I guess you guys kind of have an idea what is going on today, right? Because my friend David back here, Simplex Fishing, is already putting the waders on. Today we're going to do some salt water fishing. Now let me tell you something, every time I come out here with Dave, especially when we explore new spots, today we're going to be exploring a new spot in Monmouth County, I believe this is where we're at, New Jersey. Every time we do it, I just never know what is going to happen. So today is one of those days, right? We're going to fish the, the surf and hopefully we're going to find some fish uh, i hope we are able to catch i don't know some blue fish the pomatomo saltatrix or the striped bass the morones saxatilis or maybe even false albacore right so we will just see how it goes as the day progresses let me get my gear put my waders on i'll see you guys down the surf i mean so far it is looking pretty neat sun is all the way up there it's like 7.30 a.m. What setup you got here with you, bro? Uh, tsunami Classic 10-foot Tsunami Shield. Uh-huh. The rod's like what? A medium? Medium heavy? Medium. Medium, yeah, medium, medium heavy. heavy. Okay. So we're starting the day light, guys. You know, I'm starting with a medium heavy setup too. Got the Cast King Perry G2 here. Two pieces, you know, with a Centron 4000, 20 pounds fluorocarbon line. We got to give a few casts here and there. Check out the place, see how it goes. Good call, good call. If you didn't tell me that, I'll be like, you know, Looks as sketchy as hell, man. Oh, nice. First fish of the day. Bluefish. You think it's a bluefish? Oh, yeah. Not bad, man. Not bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, this, this guy got no chill, man. He is horsing it in. Yeah, not nice. bad, not nice, not nice, not bad, nice eating, size, nice eating size, brother. Nice eating size. That is a nice, I've got a camera. Oh, it ripped the, it ripped the lure yeah. though, man. Did it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's the thing with the bluefish, they always rip the lure. That's fair. Hook pretty good then on top too. It's gonna break good. Yeah, it's gone, it's gone. It's good to go, man. It's good to go. Nice. Yeah, that was a big ass one. Okay. Oh, got one. Got one, got one. Wait, is it really a fish? Yeah, 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 it's a fish, it's a fish, it's a fish. The waves, you know? Sometimes the waves, man, the waves. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, my man. Gotta enjoy the fight, gotta enjoy the fight, man. No, only God knows how many of these I'll catch today. <laughs> I said, only God knows how many of these I'll catch today, you know? I gotta enjoy the fight, son. 
Yeah, man. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Catch, catch and release, right? Catch and release right there. Look at that. Prime catch and release, bro, you know? Hey, man, you never know, man. Sometimes with the bluefish, you know, there's a few of them with stripes. Oh, look at that, dude. Two sand fleas now. Being snagging these the whole day. Apparently, there's a bunch of sand fleas down there right now, guys. I don't want to snag them, but I'm just working the, the spoon down there all the way down. No, for real, dude, what is this? Why is there so many of these around here? Look, one. Okay, that's one. Let's walk a little bit over here. I I'm sure we're going to find more. Oh, look at this. Two. All right, two. There's another one right there. Let's walk a more a little bit over here and see what we got. Look, three. That's a jumbo. That's a jumbo right here. Wow. Four. You have got to be kidding me. Where? Where are these are coming them? from? Are you talking about the... Look, 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 six! Oh, you know why that's there? It's the why? Elite Fisherman Blood Coagulate. <laughs> Bro, seven! This is no joke. Eight, eight! Wow, man, why is there so many of these around here? one on the swim chat there's gotta be a bass dude it's a flounder how dude how how man brother it's a nice size too bro Bro! Bro! Out of season! Out of season, man! Yo! Bro! 20, uh... Bro! That's so fat! Jeez. That's fat, dude! Maybe that's what's been hitting me. Bro! You got to be kidding! Yo, this is so fat, man! I'm so sick, Jesus. Jeez Louise, man. That's a keeper, 100%. It's out of season, yeah. No, it's out, it's out, it's out of season. I'll take a, I'll take a photo and just release it. Nice. Yeah, no, for real. This is this is too funny, you know. That's heartbreaking. Actually. This is too funny. It's a uh, whole season. Oh, he's throwing up little crabs. Look at this. He's throwing up little crabs. Yeah, look, little crabs. So fat. Out of season. Keeper flounder. Can you guys believe it? If it was 22nd of September, I would have kept this guy. But now, it's out of season, so can't really keep it. Whole season trying to catch a keeper, bro. I thought it was a striper. Dude, maybe that's what hit me, what? The fish hit me so hard, uh -huh. it almost fell out of my hand. I was like... Wow, that's crazy, man. <laughs> I have to say, sometimes life is truly funny, isn't it, folks? whole fluking season i've been trying to catch a decent keeper and i mean sure i caught a few keeper summer flounder earlier this year very few and the flounder season in new jersey just closed i think on the 22nd of september and guess what right david saw a few bait fish swimming around the area silver sides peanut bunker so i was like let me tie on, you know, a swim shed. He said he had a few bites on it. Throw it out there, got a hit. I thought right away, right? Man, at least a striper. No, nope. keeper, summer flounder. Fat, so fat too. If only you guys saw, so thick, you know? Had to release it. I mean, that, that's good food, you know? That, that's a nice meal right there. But anyways, right? We're going to keep fishing. Fishing has been pretty slow today so far no blitzes anywhere a few bluefish you know one summer flounder hopefully we will catch a few more species in this video yeah stay tuned well 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 as you guys know i don't really like to hype up my videos right i always try to bring them 
as it is for you guys. And truth be told, my friend David and I, for the afternoon, we went to a local inlet to do some more fishing. We fished for a while, we didn't catch anything, right? And this is what fishing is really all about. Sometimes you catch fish, sometimes you don't catch fish, right? I wish I had more footage to bring it to you guys today. But you know what? Regardless, it was a good adventure. We got to explore a new location. And uh, the most important part, right? We didn't really get skunked. So, I mean, you know, it counts for something. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Before I, turn, before I go away for this video though, I do want to mention two things in this video, okay? And number one is, if you have never done any type of surf casting, okay? And you go somewhere with surf, I really recommend you to do it. You don't need anything too fancy to get started. You can even use your freshwater setup, as you guys saw, you know, in the video today, right? Get a pair of waders, get your fresh water set up and just go out there give a few casts with different lures do your research with the locals to see what is around running at the time what you can potentially catch right and just you know give it a, give it a go have some fun explore it is a different type of fishing when it comes to the sport right that is very very enjoyable when you do it just make sure right safety first so i mean the waves, right? Modern nature sometimes can be quite cruel. Just make sure you watch your surroundings at all times because those waves, as you guys saw in this video, sometimes can really take you out there, right? And when you are using waders, that is very, very dangerous for you, okay? And number two is never forget to wash your freshwater gear if you use your rails, right? Sealed or not sealed after you are out there fishing in salt water, okay? Make sure you take that sand and all that salt all out of the rail so that it doesn't rust it out, it doesn't really break, okay? This is all I wanted to say. I, I take my casking Centron out there, which is not really salt water oriented, right? But as far as you take good care of it, it keeps on working so that you can, you know, use it again in the future, okay? So this is all I wanted to tell you guys. Uh, I thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Tight lines and take it easy, all right? Oh yeah, it's on, 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 it's on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get out of there. Oh, that's nicer. Ooh, that's nicer, that's nicer. Oh, that may be it. This may be it.